the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's you. Don't you think I'm the one who should be asking that question? Don't you dare talk to me like you know me. Who do you think you are? Hmm? Sako is my big sister. She was using this character until yesterday. Oh, you're the sister. Um, hello? What are you looking at me like that for? You a freak. Ah! Oh, I got it. You're after Master N, aren't you? Forget it. I won't allow it. Master Ren and I are in love. And we're destined to be together forever. What? Who's Master N? Hmm? Hey! You surprised me when you ran off like that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, you guys! Master N! with Ida at the Lost Ground. Was that an avatar that you used in the fight just now? Hmm. So then you were able to see her, but nothing more than that. So you have no real power. <clears throat> you don't even have the heart to understand them. Seeing her doesn't change the fact that you're just someone in the crowd. You will grow old without ever accomplishing anything, and then you will just die and rot away into nothing. How pitiful. How truly, truly pitiful you are. Shut up! I don't have any real power. I'm just another face in the crowd! Who the hell are you to tell me that? I'll prove it. I'll show you power! And I'll defeat you! You? Defeat me? But how? <laughs> What's so funny? Impossible. It's impossible for you. Arrogant pretty boy. Master N, you just made it to the top oh, of my murder risky. list. You'll just be carried away on a... Shut up! I hate people who look down on others. I will defeat Entrance. Wow, Aseo, you really are amazing. I'd never have the nerve. But how are you going to fight against the Emperor? Hmm, I guess you'll have to fight your way through the tournament first, if you want to confront him. The tournament, huh? Hmm. Well, you've got a very long way ahead of you, Haseo. What do you mean? Well, unlike the normal free battles in the arena, tournaments are official fights, recognized and organized by CC Corp. Those who qualify to enter must place among the top 16 registered ranker teams in each Coliseo. It'll be hard for you to get in now. Then I have to keep winning the free battles and become a top ranker, right? You make it all sound so easy, Haseo. It'll be hard if you're not at least over level 20. You'll need a party, too. You guys will do. What? Us? 
Oh, no. No way. I impossible. Well, why not? Gaspard gets really bad stage fright. Just thinking about being seen by lots of people makes my hands shake and then I can't do anything at all. As for me, if you insist, I'm willing to help you out. All right. Okay, we need one more. You know, someone with healing spells would help balance out the party. So, do you happen to know any clerics? Hmm, any clerics? What's wrong, Haseo? Nothing. We've got to have at least three people. You can participate with just two, right? Besides, that Master N guy fought by himself. Well, I know, but he is an exception. If a guy like me tried to fight alone like that, I'd be done for in no time. All right, fine. I'll see what I can do about finding the last member. If you find someone, send me an invite. See you later. A cleric. Huh. She's the only choice. But still... Guess I'll log out and try to get some information on the arena. You know what, Syllabus? Since you volunteered so wholeheartedly to help me out in the arena and beat up that freaking arrogant pretty boy, I'm gonna start calling you Scylla Bro now. All right. Well, we don't have much else to do, so, um, log out now, I guess. And we have some new email. And some new stuff on the forum, even. Forum post, forum post. Oh, the guy responded! So we can go to Delta Choosing Superior Offerings, if that's where the area was. A lot of people confused about just what it is that Endurance does. And that is a very, very large post about Endurance. Written by some guy named Period S. Okay then. Let's see, anything else handy? People responding to what I posted. Syllabus responding to me. Hmm, rumors about a girl wearing white. Now, they also mentioned, uh, talked a little bit about Triage in this threat, so we can talk about that, too. Well, I guess I could say that one. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get something out of it. Doubtful. And, of course, a new post on Opkalu! Aw, Mecha Grunty. a lot of talk about Mecha Grunty there. But that's okay, Mecha Grunty is awesome. And there we have the three palace emperors. Now, the, the th thing about the three different palaces are they are actually for different levels. Like the demon palace, the lowest ranking one that Endrance is the emperor of, is strictly from levels 1 to 50. The next one up then is 51 to 100, and... 101 to 150. That's right, the level cap is 150.
Do do do. More pictures of Endurance. Saku. Oh, for Pete's sake, Saku. I don't like you already. Now, you can actually tell the difference between Saku and Bo just by looking at them, um, despite the fact that they're supposed to have the same character. With Saku, her character is... or her hat... Both of them have a hat with two little pointy things sticking off. One has a moon on one end, the sun on the other. With Bo, the moon is pointed up. With Saku, the sun is pointed up. Um, probably a more noticeable difference is Bo's backpack is black, whereas Saku's backpack is red. And also, uh, Saku's skirt thing flares out more like a proper skirt. Their hair's a little more wispy, too, but... Uh... Now, nothing else new here other than the wallpapers that I just unlocked. So check our email, go back in. It's been new from Gaspard! What's up, Gaspard? Ask about entrance or insult him. So let's ask about entrance. And Adelie wants to take us to Delta Blurry Obsessive Slacker. I've got no choice but to invite her. But she seems like the type that'd hate fighting or stuff like the arena. What do I do? Well, she wants to make up for um, the previous failure, so let's give her let's give it a try, see what happens. Now, though we have a new I'll server, check out Delta Blurry Obsessive Slacker. I have to invite Adelie into my party to ask about the arena. We can't actually do anything in this town. This is a unique town in that is it, it in that it is explicitly an arena. You can't have keywords. You can't go to areas here. So all our areas are still back in Delta. Oh, hey, Adelie. How you doing? Then let's get going, Haseo. Our destination today is Delta Blurry Obsessive Slacker. Invite me into your party. Alrighty. And actually, she's the only one around right now. And I'm having a little bit of trouble getting her affection up, but oh well. I'll worry about that later. Now, she wants to go to Blurry Obsessive Slacker, but we have two areas we can go to. We learned about this one, which had the treasure chest that can't yet be opened. And you'll notice right now that I am level 16. Not strategy. There we are. Yeah, I'm level 16, which means I'm going to be way over-leveled for a little while now. Now, I haven't gone out of my way to level up explicitly, but I did take care of all of the keywords that we got previously. I took care of all of those off-screen because there, there was nothing special about any of the keywords. It was just like this one says, Area word posted on the forum by Renji, it's a level 6 area. That's all it is. There's nothing special about it. There was a level 6, 5, 4, 3. Down here, there was a, a level 10 and a level 13. No, that's level 10. That one's 13. Nothing special about any of them. So I took care of all of them off screen, which got me up to level 16, which means the next couple bits of the game I'm going to be way overpowered for. Now, Blurry Obsessive Slacker is a little bit of a larger area, so I'm going to close off this area doing Choosing Superior Offerings.
Now, the game is going to be picking up soon, so with any luck we won't be seeing quite as many cutscenes as we have before. And that said, this is a pretty small area. It's actually very straightforward. Um, the chest is at the very end, and that's really all we're here for. So I don't really have much time to go on one of my various dungeon rants, but then I don't have much to say in the first place. The only real thing I have to talk about in a dungeon rant is... I have actually been considering applying for YouTube Partner recently. And this comes down to that... I would very much, I, as much as time and effort as I put into making these videos, I would very much like to actually get a little bit of money out of them. That's mostly what it comes down to, and Adley's just gonna have to fend for herself. The downside to that, no! Bad kitty! The downside to this, though, and the reason I'm having a little bit of trouble cons- I'm not really sure if I want to do it or not, is for one, right now this is just an over-elaborate hobby for me. I do enjoy doing this, but it's, again, it's really just a hobby. And I like it that way. But the second I start getting paid for this, it ceases to be a hobby and starts being a job and I become obligated to keep to uh, make videos, and I really don't look like that. The other thing that I'd have to worry about is that all of you will have to sit through ads and whatnot, and I hate to put everybody through that. I know how much, I mean, I know how much I hate watching ads on videos, so I know how much everyone else would hate watching ads on videos. So, that's kind of my dilemma. I, as much as I would like to make some kind of money off of this, and actually make this thing that I'm pouring so much of my free time into rewarding in some form, I don't know if I, w I don't know if I want to or not. I mean, I don't know if I want to turn this into an obligation and a job, and I don't know if I want everybody else to suffer through ads and crap. So, I'm considering, and I don't really know what I want to do. Now's the time to do it, though, with something as big as uh, GU coming in. This is where I'm going to get a lot of views. So this is where I'd make a lot of, m a lot of the money that I'd be making. So. I don't know. Yeah, it's something I'm something I've been tossing around lately. God dang it. Nunos. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, that right, but this here is actually the first in a series of events in, in the Sir Nunos series of events. So, good times, and more is to come after this. We are apparently the creature to be sacrificed to revive the demon Sir Nunos. Go. Neither. Let's get going. As such, we fight for our existence. Now, without a third member, the, this fight uh, normally would be a little bit tricky, but. With Adley in, it doesn't really bother me. It's not actually that uh, bad a fight. These guys do have counter curse, though. And in fact, you know what? Can I customize? Ah, I can't customize during battle. 
I think I have a curse immunity that I probably should have put on my armor. No, you leave Adelie alone. She's just standing there being all adorable in the corner by herself. Leave her alone. And I do I do apologize for talking when they shout when he uh, shouts out Rengeki. Um, in each game they change how he says Rengeki and let me say this real quick. No. In each game, they change how he says, says Rengeki, and the first game, I personally believe, is the best. That was Just that powerful Rengeki! Heck yeah. As I said, I am a little over-leveled for this, though, which is why I can do it with two characters instead of three, and it's really not that big a problem. <laughs> so I think he said he was the Lord of Decay, and then there's also the Lord of Death and the Lord of Abyss. So we have some other people to run into then for this event. Well, that'll just about call it for the day, though. That was a small dungeon, but we'll pick up next time. Probably get two dungeons in next time, actually. So, until next time, everyone! <laughs>